<laughs> What's up Frontier family? Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about my top five reasons why I would buy a Frontier. So let's get at it. Number five reason I would buy a Frontier again. Versatility. Okay. The Frontier is one of the most versatile trucks out there. Okay. Uh, whether you want to put a ladder rack on it for construction, you want to put a roof rack on it for overlanding, uh, you just want to keep it open bed, tear off the bed and do uh, a pre-runner truck. Uh, anything you want to do with this truck is possible. You know, you can do a, a Titan swap with it uh, to widen the front end, uh, turn it into a rock crawler. I mean, what do you want to do with this truck? You can do it. Number four for me has got to be storage and space. Um, there's just a really a, a lot of different places in the cab alone to store things behind the back seat. Um, I, I store a lot of tools underneath the, the, the back seats. You know, we can store some more tools, some jumper cables, uh, you know, whatever you need. There's two storage bins down there that can hold quite a bit. Um, uh, you can also remove those and, you know, like I give, going back to versatility, you can remove those and put a speaker box under those. They make a custom speaker box that will house a couple of 10s uh, or even a 12, 12 inch, believe, under there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the interior, uh, how I like it, um, would just involve a lot of storage and space, and this is definitely had enough for us. Um, we have two kids uh, that are now, you know, two and four about to be three and five and uh, they've, they've been in this truck their entire life and with having the car seats in the back um, it's still had a, you know plenty enough space for us to go from California to Texas and from Texas to Illinois and here pretty soon back to California so um, yeah it's it's had quite a bit of space and then the bed you know a lot of people gripe that it's only got a five foot bed but um, honestly, it's been enough for us. I've had the bed fully loaded uh, with, you know, dirt and rocks, uh, doing a couple of uh, landscaping projects, and it's been completely empty. Um, but most of the time, we just keep a, a storage net back there with a, a crate uh, that are ratcheted down so they don't move out, move out of place at all. And uh, it's been plenty of storage for us. And rounding out the top three uh, in third place is a simple interior, okay? Um, some people will again they'll gripe about the interior and, ha and its simplicity but that is actually a benefit for me um, I really like the simplicity of our interior and so much that we actually got uh, manual uh, window rollers and manual door locks um, and, and here's a reason that a lot of people don't even think about but you should think about uh, when purchasing any vehicle um, especially off-roading too if you have off-roading in mind um, and you're gonna do any kind of water crossing or um, water submerging. <laughs> Some people put a snorkel on their truck and uh, are able to go in deep waters. And uh, that can be a problem if, if uh, you don't have that snorkel and your engine cuts out on you and your battery is submerged and your power goes out. Um, yeah, you're not gonna be able to get out of your vehicle. You're not gonna be able to unlock your doors, you know? So uh, we, we opted for the uh, manual door locks and manual windows for its simplicity. So that way, in case we ever had an emergency, we could get out of the vehicle, you know? Um, aside from that, it leaves a lot of room for customizing. Um, I, me personally, I've, I've done a lot of customizing to vehicles in the past. So um, there's like, even for the dash, I want to do a custom dash. Uh, and it gives you a double den uh, for your radio. Um, and that, I think that's across the board, no matter what year you buy, they all have different stock radio systems and, and displays and stuff. Um, ours is the very simple one with a CD player, uh, FM, AM, auxiliary, and that's it. Uh, we don't have like the Bluetooth, um, we don't have a screen, but if you want to upgrade that in the future, you can put anything there that you want. So, um, yeah. Plus, besides that, you know, uh, towards the, the shifter area, um, which I'll show you after this, uh, there's areas where you can put switches and stuff like that. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of room for, for upgrades. So some people see it as a negative, I see it as a positive. Number two reason is the power plant, okay? We got the 4.0 V6 uh, with 261 horsepower, and it has been plenty enough power for us to get up and go when we need to accelerate really quickly. Um, and also, I mean, really when we've been off road, there has not been a single situation where we've ever bogged out and not had enough power. Um, and so, I mean, and me being a, a guy that loves, you know, fast cars, and we've been well over 100 miles an hour in this vehicle um, safely, uh, never had any problems. 
no wobbles, nothing like that. Um, also, uh, it should be noted that um, there are plenty of aftermarket motor upgrades for this if you look in the right places. You know, and if you're not happy with this, the, as I, we go back to versatility again, and you can VK swap it with a Titan uh, 5.6 liter <laughs> V8. So a really badass truck all the way around. Number one reason I would buy a Frontier, okay? This is my personal opinion why I would buy the Frontier. Number one reason is I love the style of the Frontier, okay? With its V-Motion grille, uh, with the quad cap, even the two doors, they look great. I, I don't care which way you throw it, the, the Frontier is a great looking truck. Um, and then there's so many more exterior modifications that you can do to it to make it look even better. Um, you can add, you know, fender flares uh, from Fiberworks, uh, which, and there's another version too, I think the McNeil fenders that, that people are used to, and those look really good. Um, so there's, there's a couple different options with flares as well. So uh, you don't have to just go with a Baja style. You can also go with something like, uh, if you're into mudding, you can get mud fenders for it, you know, so... Uh, there's there's plenty of different routes you can go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this is your first time joining me, please smash that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you uh, want to help us with the YouTube algorithms. And, uh, of course, we always appreciate everyone that shares our content uh, to get in front of more like-minded individuals. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that review of, of my top five reasons of why I would buy a Frontier. We'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.